This is The Sim Pit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but the real star today's show is the Rick Motec Real Gear Rally Pro Extreme Handbrake Add-on for the Real Gear pedals. And I say add-on because it is designed to go with the Rick Motec Real Gear pedal set, so it actually plugs into the same controller box, saving you the USB slot. The Real Gear Rally Pro handbrake goes for $524.50 in that add-on configuration, but can also be purchased as a standalone USB connection for an extra $75. I already own a set of Real Gear pedals, so it made total sense to go with that variation and plug it right into that controller box and save that USB. Now, Rick Motec also makes a less expensive version that goes for $398.50 and then they also make a super long handled version for $498.50. Both of those models are also available as a standalone version for an additional $75. But as I mentioned, I am reviewing their top of the line model, the Rick Motec Real Gear Rally Pro Extreme Handbrake. Now the Rick Motec Rally Pro Handbrake is an all metal design that utilizes a hydraulic system to recreate a realistic braking feel. The machined handle rises way above the base and allows for 100 pounds of pulling force. This is no lightweight spring setup here. The measuring system is done via a pressure sensor and it is amazingly fast, 5,000 readings per second for great reaction time and super accurate readings. It has an adjustable starting position, an adjustable dead zone, and an adjustable linearity curve to tune to your desire and needs. The brake can be used in analog mode in most cases, and the brake will be seen as a variable lever, like our gas, brake, or clutch pedals, or even our wheels. It can also be used in digital mode for games that don't support a lever, but only a button. When you pull the handle, it'll act like pressing a button. You can then electronically set the point that the brake lever mimics pressing a button. So this year alone, we're going to see the release of Dirt 2. We're going to see the release of WRC 8, and it certainly seems like the dirt or sideways driving world of sim racing continues to grow. And with that, it does put a little more focus on the handbrake as one of the components that many sim racers are going to need, especially those who focus on sideways, as I call it, driving, or rally car, rally cross, or even drifting. So let's go ahead and take a look at really what makes up the Rick Motec Real Gear Rally Pro Extreme Handbrake, starting off with the very long handle. Your eyes are almost immediately drawn to that long Willwood handle built by the pros. The handle extends up from the mounting deck by almost 15 inches, making it taller than most handbrakes out there. The handle itself is black in color and made entirely of one piece of solid metal. No add-on handles to come loose and it is nicely shaped to be gripped by your hand. This then connects to the Willwood base that is also made of metal and has a heavy duty bearing holding them together. On the opposite end of the base is a master cylinder from a real car. When the handle is pulled, it then pushes an adjustable rod into the master cylinder and is the starting point of the hydraulic system that makes the Rally Pro brake so special. The adjustable rod can be adjusted to change the starting position of the always upright brake lever. It is intended to be vertical only position like a real rally car. From the master cylinder extends a braided tube that leads to a slave cylinder that will be driven by the system's hydraulic pressure. When the handle is pulled, the pressure built up inside of the master cylinder then operates the slave cylinder. It then retracts its internal rod and squeezes on a set of urethane bumpers to create a progressive resistance to the system. And simultaneous to creating the needed pressure to move its parts, there's a pressure sensor that is constantly reading any changes in pressure whatsoever. This pressure sensor converts the signal over to the computer and is what the computer sees as far as brake action going on. It is mechanically beautiful, built from real car parts, built for abuse, and it is absolutely extreme sim racing gear. Now before you get down to mounting such a substantial handbrake, its overall dimensions can be a factor for some sim rigs out there. So just to give you an idea, in some ways this is one of the biggest handbrakes you're going to get to see, and in other ways it is a compact design, starting off with the handle. This thing is 15 inches or 380 millimeters tall. And meanwhile, 
The overall length of the brake is only 12 inches or 305 millimeters front to back. It is also fairly narrow in its footprint, being only 3.5 inches or 89 millimeters wide. When it comes to mounting, there are only two mounting holes on the bottom of the bracket and they are 4 inches or 102 millimeters apart. And then extending off the unit is a wire with a connector to the Rikmotech control box and that wire ends up being about 36 inches or 92 centimeters long. The mounting and the installation of the Rally Pro Extreme Handbrake is also fairly easy. Like I said, there's only two mounting holes, four inches apart, but you better use a really heavy duty bolt set to hold it down. And I cannot stress this enough. This is 100 pounds of force multiplied by a 15 inch lever. This thing is really strong and it's not going to work on a lot of sim rigs out there. You are going to need a very strong sim rig to handle this buyer beware or be warned it is a substantial piece of gear so in my case i'm using my r seat s1 chassis its shifter handbrake mount is absolutely one of the beefiest things that i've ever seen in all of sim racing diy or purchase built and it was ready for this handbrake right out of the box the handbrake perfectly lined up with pre-drilled holes on my rig i was able to mount it in an angled position for if i was also using a shifter to its inside or in the end, and my favorite, I mounted it right next to the seat and running parallel to me. All it required was two bolts and the handbrake was mounted. In my case, I received the handbrake in the configuration to work with Rickmo Tech pedals, as I mentioned, and that comes with this very special plug on the end that goes right into the control box for the Rickmo Tech pedals. It already has a plug-in spot ready, waiting for the handbrake connection. As I mentioned also, don't forget, it is available for $75 more in a USB standalone version. But again, I'm using the version that goes with the Rickmo Tech pedals. And then there's a little bit of work with the control box to activate it. The steps to activate the handbrake and the control box are found at the Rickmo Tech website or were sent along with the brake. By using a method of moving the programming switch, I can click or navigate to the proper settings, Look for the confirmation of the box I am on. Click the switch to make my changes. See the confirmation and then move on to the next step. In total, I turned on or activated the brake. I set a dead zone and then I set the full throw distance of the brake. And then it was just a matter of calibrating it in the game and getting out there to drive. And that's exactly where we are. It is time to get out on track and drive using this handbrake just to see what it can do. And I'll tell you right off the bat, I tend to really overdo things when I'm using a handbrake. I tend to reach out abruptly, grab and yank on that thing, and with many lightweight handbrakes, I find that I go to full throw resistance very quickly. One of the first things you're going to notice about the Rickmo Tech Rally Pro handbrake is its monster 100 pounds of pressure that changes all of that. At that kind of pressure, there is no accidentally hitting the maximum. It only happens with intention and a serious pull of the handle. That is the first thing that immediately separates this handbrake from anything that I've ever tested. Now I can use that to feather the brake and use it in a much more accurate way. Sometimes it's a few quick and light touches the brake that you want. And at others, it's a more extreme holding that brake down at maximum pressure. This setup makes it very easy to find those combinations and anything and everything in between. And when pulling on a brake or lever of this kind of strength, it also focuses our concerns on the strength and rigidity of those parts. The lever itself is as solid as it can be. No hint of wiggle or flex at all. Rock solid. There is the slightest bit or hint of play, and that comes right from Willwood. It's the bearing that allows this giant lever to move. You do not feel it at all, but you can see that play if just moving the lever left and right. But when you are pulling on it, even at maximum pressure, that bearing assembly does not move at all. Perfectly smooth, brutally strong. But it's the delicate moments that this handbrake really excels at. Yes, despite that beefy, super strong, it's the lightest of touch moments that really separates this brake from any handbrake I've ever tested. The speedy pull of the handle and the light, quick responses in game allow this brake to really control the car at peak performance. And that maximum resistance is what makes it easy to predict, 
get used to and repeat time after time kind of consistency that is needed in racing. Another one of my favorite things about the Rally Pro brake is that when you reach the end of its throw, it just ends with a ramped up version of the bumpers and all that resistance. There is no hard stop, no metal to metal finishing point. And then lastly, it comes down to the way it feels. Is it realistic? And that is when I come back to the method used by the Rickmotec Real Gear Rally Pro handbrake. The hydraulic system is as real as it gets. And much like the difference between a potentiometer and a load cell, the difference is massive. The system is working on a much more realistic, in fact, the same type of resistance you find in real cars components. It is measuring pressure and you are fighting a resistance point far more than how far you move the handle. It is more accurate, more realistic, and far more consistent. In the end, after a lot of different testing, I tried this handbrake in a bunch of different scenarios with my main goal trying it everything from the most hardcore scenario there is all the way down to something like Wreckfest. And in each and every circumstance, this thing worked like a champion. Again, those light touch, those quick rapid response e-brake moments that you want or handbrake moments, it does that great. And those moments where you've really done it and you really need to rotate the car, you can just grab on it really hard and let go as, and it's so fast to react. And that was true in every sim. And in that worst case scenario, again, if you play a game and it doesn't support a handbrake lever type action, you can always switch it to digital mode and it'll act like a button, just like a button on your steering wheel, but what a waste that would be using this particular handbrake in that type of a manner. So this handbrake really is an extreme piece of sim racing gear. I mean, look at it. It looks the part. It acts or it feels the part, and it certainly is priced the part as well. So let's go ahead and break things down or simplify it with the good, the not so good, and the bottom line, starting off with the good, and that is it feels like a real braking system. Built for abuse. Realistic rally car vertical position. Super fast reaction. Application and release. Great resistance. Prevents too much brake. No hard metal stop. Ends with resistance. Comfortable handle. Extremely rigid. Looks awesome. Willwood parts. Programmable dead zone and full throw distances. Adjustable starting point And USB saver when used with Rickmotec pedals. And now on to the not so good, or the flaws, or whatever faults I can find with whatever I'm testing. And in the case of this Rickmotec handbrake, it is what it is. So my list is pretty small, but the first one, it's not even Rickmotec's fault. And that is, you're going to need an extremely strong rig to handle the load and strength of this handbrake. It is expensive. Now, a short cord. PC only. And now on to the bottom line. Much like the name implies, the Rickmotec Real Gear Rally Pro Extreme Handbrake is many things. It feels real. It's pro as in it's as pro as you can put in your sim rig. And it's even extreme when you consider the price and just the level of engineering and how strong it is and how substantial a piece of sim gear it is. It is a high end high precision and high cost component that certainly isn't for every sim racer. I mean, for the casual racer, it is probably overkill. And for the non-rally car or rally cross or drifter, it's an unnecessary piece of equipment to begin with. However, if you are into rally car driving, if you are into rally cross drifting or any kind of sideways action driving, then a handbrake has now become an essential part or an essential tool of sim racing. And the Rickmotec Real Gear Rally Pro handbrake is as good as you're going to find. If you spend a lot of time in those disciplines and you're using a button on your steering wheel and some kind of rapid fire technique to mimic the handbrake, well that's just not rally car driving. This is rally car driving. And if you are a fan of driving sideways and you're using a spring and potentiometer, well, it just can't compare to this when it comes to reaction, speed, accuracy, feeling, and authenticity when compared to a potentiometer and spring. 
in part to the elongated handle and in part to the hydraulic pressure and friction method used. Now you are driving it like a rally car. And then finally, it's for those over-the-top sim rig builders out there, and there are many of us out there, those who want the best of the best equipments all assembled to make the perfect sim rig, the kind that will blow people's minds when they see it. And if you are building one of those rigs and you're looking for a handbrake, then the Rick Motec Real Gear Rally Pro Extreme Handbrake has to be one of your top choices. It looks the part with its fancy, sophisticated design. It looks the part with the authentic Willwood parts and it looks the part in terms of the elongated handle and giving the same positioning as we see in real life rally cars. For me, as an average at best rally car driver, the handbrake gave me the best chance of driving like a pro. It prevented the overuse of the handbrake and allowed me to tread lightly or use the rear end lockup and quick flashes instead of feeling like I just grabbed a full throw at every turn. And I can safely say that my lap times were lower when using this handbrake compared to a button on the wheel or a cheaper handbrake that I've maybe tested in the past. So I hope I've answered all of your questions about this handbrake. If I haven't, you can get more information at rickmotech.com. They have that under the handbrake section. You can get all the details you want. Find out the options for the USB version versus the, the one that plugs in with the Rickmotech pedals. And of course, if you have any questions of me, you can always email me at sean, S-H-A-U-N, at thesimpit.com, and I'll do my best to answer your questions as well. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, tell a friend about the Simpit so they know we're doing and great reviews over here, but that's going to do it for this one. This is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.